This is island food. Samuel, look at the size of this fella. Okay, so this one is from 2020. We're on a research trip on Carl Island, that's between the Grenada Grenadines. Here you can see me looking at what I think now is a crab's hole. But we were searching for shear water nest on the island. Meanwhile documenting the biodiversity, any animals we saw are getting some spear fishing action in. This clip here you can see that's a hole. The last time I was here there was a lion fish below that hole. So I went back. It's only about 20-25 feet and look to see if the if there was any more lionfish there because I took the one that was there the last time and lo and behold there's a baby North shark now North shark are fairly harmless and they are nocturnal so they sleep in the day there you can see so while we're on the island we eat from the ocean now we practice um, sustainable fishing here you can see me looking I think that's where I caught a squid um, this here is how I saw you should kill a squid in the water. You bite them straight in the head, shark style. Yep, so you can see I made a makeshift kitchen, use coconut branches to, to um, bar the wind coming in from the windward side. We had a little cooler station in the back there, which actually kept the ice for the four days. I caught just enough fish, what we needed for three meals before we go back in the water again. The second part of our story was documenting signs of poaching on the island. Now it is a known hawksbill nesting site and even though there is a five month close season and the nesting season for hawksbill would go beyond the close season, poachers would still stake them out on these islands while they come up to lay. Uh, we were taking biological evidence, also carp is length and width and any data we see fit fortunately a few of them were able to nest successfully we excavated a few nests to assess the success rate and here you can see successful hatchlings on the right versus unsuccessful on the left hawksbill turtle can lay anywhere from 60 to 200 eggs and one of the unsuccessful eggs had twin baby turtles in them Early morning is the best time to go in the water and here you can see me trying to master my squid technique. I remember having trouble equalizing on the last day so I was doing this weird thing by holding on to my ties when I got to the bottom. Seemingly it worked out though. We saw a few lionfish that day and I did not have a pole with me. Lionfish are invasive and they totally destroy a reef. They eat more than they fill. So I used the spear and maneuvered a technique that would keep me safe and also get these lionfish off the reef to keep the reef safe. My technique needed a bit of patience but I got a good shot on the first fish, maneuvered the pole back into the gun without getting stung. Those things would make you wish death on yourself. Then go back down and line up the second fish in a good spot and do the same thing again in the end i got all three though and they tasted great if you haven't tried lionfish yet you should they taste amazing and has a lot more flesh than you would think <laughs> the last morning was more wandering around the island i checked every trail and tried to photograph almost every species of bird lizard snake that we saw it was a never-ending camera trip kudos the kid for following me and videoing the whole thing eh <laughs> anyways it's a wrap again thanks for tuning in hopefully you like this one this giant male crab was so remarkable that we did not eat him i released him he got some of the food scrap for the few days we were there hopefully i see him again next time